I can't even hear myself though. Hark, the sound of the great British summer. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you're good today or tonight, whatever time it is in your part of the world. This is my second video actually, so it's still quite new and exciting for me. So if anything goes wrong, just bear with me. I'm still learning the ropes of this whole YouTube thing. Anyway, let's get into it. So today I'm essentially going to show you a little demo, keeping it brief, quite simple, on how to contour with a selection of totally adorable little brushes I got sent by a lovely company called MyMakeupBrushSet.com. I will link that down below for you guys if you want to check them out. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, just a disclaimer. All views are my own and yeah, I'm not endorsed in any way. They just sent me a bunch of brushes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the purpose of this video is really just for me to experiment with them, see what they're like, and offer you guys my feedback. <laughs> Originally, they came in this little drawstring bag here. Excuse the cat hair that's stuck to it. Nice. Oh my, hello. Let me just check that there are 10. <laughs> oh gosh, GCSE maths problems. Yeah, there are 10. Now on the website, these are called the oval brushes. This is the largest brush in the collection, just to put it into perspective for you. Uh, at first I was thinking, you know, what am I supposed to do with this? Mm. It looks like a hairbrush, like a shoe shiner. I, I just had no idea. Uh, it's synthetic animal fur, so that's a good thing. My first impression of this is that it's incredibly soft, really silky, I'm really enjoying it already. I could just sit here all day brushing myself. <laughs> oh. So on the website, it goes in alphabetical order, obviously starting at A and getting to, I think, J, I can't remember, um, <clears throat> from largest to smallest. So we've got the A. You have no idea how difficult it is to restrain myself from singing this in the tune of the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and J. Get a um, and a P. But I'm not quite sure which is which. I mean, they, they look the same. By the way, just, <laughs> I've got to excuse the atrocious state of my palms. I go to the gym, as you probably know if you follow me on Instagram. Sorry, <laughs> just bombard everyone with my gym pics. Hashtag gym is life. I get calluses because I lift. I also faked tan really, really badly the other day, and it's just picked up these dry patches, so now I just look like the Tin Man or something. And it's just so inconvenient because obviously in these videos I have to do this. Anyway, on the website is listed the intended uses for each brush beside each product, but I just like to use my intuition, go with my gut instinct, and if I feel like something could be used for this or that, then I'll just do it. So first, I'm going to be spritzing up and refreshing my face with Heritage Stores Rose Water and Glycerin. This is a scent. Ooh, this is Percy, everyone. Say hello to the guys. Say hello to everyone. I love him. He's a Burman, a sacred Burman, actually. I would worship people in that way. Not sure about that. I just love cats so much. Oh, please love me. Ah, uh, no! Uh, anyway, where was I? Rose water and glycerin. Here it says, classic, soothing and pure, skin lotion you can trust. I'm obviously gonna trust this product because it's telling me I can trust it. <laughs> the power of advertising. Harsh weather defense. Um, this is possibly the most insipid product I've ever sprayed on my face. So I really don't understand how it's going to defend me from harsh weather. I'm gonna stop hating on this product because I actually love it. Experience the delicate floral scent of real roses any time of the year and shake well before use. I think I should get a bar job. Percy's just looking at me from behind the camera in the most disapproving way. He's just like... Okay, that's nothing. That's actually nothing. Where should I start? Okay, this is going on so quickly. Like, half the time it usually takes me with a normal foundation brush. This is good. For the way it glides on, I think this is really good. I think it's due to the densely packed nature of the bristles, to be honest because it buffs the product into the skin. I'm, I'm actually impressed by this. But even so, it's done a damn good job, I think. So I'm going in with my Kevin O'Quan Sensual Skin Enhancer. And this is in shade SX. 
SX06. So this is what it looks like inside and this is the brush. And I heard that the beauty blenders um, absorb 60% of your product, so <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. inside my, not, not inside my eye, but you know what I mean, this little bluey patch. I have been sleeping appallingly recently. I think it's because I'm trying to decide what to study at university. I just don't know, guys. Cause like my head says law, but then my heart says like, go be a jewelry designer. <laughs> I'm considering journalism. What do you guys think about that? If any of you guys actually know anyone who's doing any of these courses or even if you're doing them yourselves, or have any info or tips, whatever, please comment below. <laughs> oh, I really like it for the eyebrows. Cool. no lashes to begin with but this has well and truly made them go completely invisible this has gone on like a dream i am really really pleased with these and i heard that in the tudor times in the time of like henry the eighth and all these british royals that these tools were used to make up big brushes like these quite interesting just a little bit of historical trivia for y'all so now i'm looking like a naked mole rat we can continue with the contouring. So I'm going to be taking my shade adjusting drops by the body shop. I don't want too much because the stuff is highly pigmented. Can you not? Oh, I just got loads in my hair and it was a really blonde bit. I'm just taking this under my lower lip to give the illusion of a larger lip. use brush D to buff this out. But next I'm going to be taking my cooler by Benefit. This is the best bronzer I have ever used. Oh, look how this sharpens up your cheekbones. Watch out, haters, you might cut yourselves. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking my Topshop highlighter in Mother of Pearl. And I'm just using a standard fan brush from Amazon. Sue Morley London on it. <laughs> Mother of Pearl. Now I always, always, always use this mascara, the L'Oreal uh, Volume Million Lashes. Really volumizing, big brush. So I'm trying the red L'Oreal on this eye. And then for the left eye, I'm going to be using Rimmel Super Color 24 Hour. Really though, the brush is like this, it's curved, so the curve matches that of my lashes, same shape. It's like a concave kind of curve, alliteration. Which one do you guys prefer? I have to say that I'm preferring this. I'm a L'Oreal baby. I think the difference is pretty negligible. I mean, they both look kind of similar. So definitely comment below with which one you prefer. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to do my brows in the tiny little mirror I've got behind my camera. I need to wear my glasses when I do this, but obviously that wouldn't really work. So I'm using my NYX brow gel with an Ardell uh, slanted brush. This is in shade Brunette brush my eyebrows 
upwards first. I look like Boris Johnson. <laughs> Go back in with my concealer, my Maybelline Fit Me and this flat tipped brush and I'm just going to highlight under my eyebrows. Next I'm taking my Makeup Revolution palette in Hot Spice and I will be applying some of this tangerine coloured uh, blush to my cheeks with my Real Techniques brush. And I'm just adding it between the highlight and the existing bronzer that's already on there. I wonder what this would look like on the eye. You don't want to ruin anything. And this was specifically just a review and a brief demo for contouring with those brushes, but I feel like I should maybe add some eyeliner. This is my L'Oreal Super Liner, by the way. Now because I botched this eyeliner so terribly, I'm going to try and tidy it up a bit, or at least disguise it, by applying some of my Ardell Wispies uh, with some of this Lash Grip Glue. I'm just debating whether or not to apply a second pair of lashes, I've got some red cherry ones here. I'm not gluing these on, I'm just kind of assembling them so you can see what they look like, just to give the effect really. again sorry guys my camera cut out so all in all personally I much prefer the application process uh, it's so much easier so much smoother so dreamy um, I prefer it to the application process when using these brushes uh, you know your standard flat foundation brush brushes and stippling brushes and things like that these are the best brushes I've ever used and actually whilst I'm recommending things I have recently been trying and testing out products by The Bardo. They are really nice. So this is called the Immaculate Spray and this is the Finishing Mist. And together they go really, really well. This is dry shampoo and this is hairspray. So this is really good for texturizing your hair if you just want to spray the roots to give it a bit, a bit of lift. And you can get 10% off all Bardo products with my discount code Olivia W10. I'll list it down below in the details um, in, the, in the description box for really really adorable accessories as well just while I'm on the topic of discount codes and cute things definitely 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 head over to Coconut Lane you can get 20% off with my discount code OliviaHope20 by the way just a side note if any of you are digging this little choker that I made please contact me and because I make them and I would love to make one for you if that's what you'd like thank you so much for watching as always uh, I'll see you next time, but in the meantime, I hope you have brilliant days or nights. Please like, comment, share and subscribe and share with your friends, all this stuff. I would really, really be so grateful if you did. Uh, the more, the merrier. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram as well, that's down at the bottom of the screen. I hope you enjoyed watching and see you next time. Bye!